the details that, about that night that bring me here today are the ones I will never forget. They have been seared into my memory and have haunted me episodically as an adult. How are you so sure that it was he? Uh, the same way that I'm sure that I'm talking to you right now. It's uh, just basic memory functions. Um, and uh, also just the level of norepinephrine and epinephrine in the brain that sort of, as you know, encodes that neurotransmitter encodes memories into the hippocampus, and so the trauma-related experience then is kind of locked there, whereas other details kind of drift. So what you are telling us is this could not be a case of mistaken identity? Absolutely not. With what degree of certainty do you believe Brett Kavanaugh assaulted you? 100%. Can you tell us what you don't forget about that night? the stairwell, the living room, the bedroom, the bed on the right side of the room. As you walk into the room, there was a bed to the right, um, the bathroom in close proximity, the laughter, the uproarious laughter, and the multiple attempts to escape and the final ability to do so. The sequelae of sexual assault varies by person. So for me personally, uh, anxiety, phobia, and PTSD-like symptoms are the types of things that I've been coping with. So uh, more specifically, claustrophobia, panic. You know, the younger you are when these things happen, it could possibly have worse impact than when you're a full, uh, when your brain is fully developed and you have better coping skills that you've developed. I was definitely experiencing the surge of adrenaline and cortisol and norepinephrine and credit that a little bit for my ability to get out of the situation. Have there been other things then that have contributed to the anxiety and PTSD that you suffered? Well, I think there's sort of biological predispositions that everyone in here has for particular disorders, so I can't rule out that I would have some biological predisposition to be what you know, about an anxious in, type person. What is the strongest memory you have? Indelible in the hippocampus is the laughter, the, la the uproarious laughter between the two, and they're having fun at my expense.